here at Pod 7. I'm going to talk about the benefits of MEMS microphones over traditional electret microphones and how Strecky was the first to use MEMS microphones in the industry. So first I'll start with the basics. All microphone technologies perform the same basic function of converting sound into an electrical signal. In a hearing aid they do this with a very thin diaphragm really close to an electrically charged backplate. Sound comes in and vibrates the diaphragm closer and farther from this backplate and that moves electrons on and off of the diaphragm giving you a signal. Traditional electron microphones have a stretched polyester diaphragm and a permanently charged backplate. They charge it once when they make it and in theory it stays constant forever. The specific tension on the diaphragm and charge on the backplate are the two factors that determine the sensitivity of the microphone. MEMS microphones are a little bit different. Uh, MEMS is an acronym. It stands for Micro Electromechanical Systems. And that term is used generally for any 3D structure that's grown on a silicon wafer, like you'll see when you get to pod number three. What that means for a MEMS microphone, though, is the diaphragm is now a free-floating silicon disc. It still has a backplate, but it has a special circuit called a charge pump that controls the charge on the backplate, and thus controls the sensitivity. In our hearing aids, we use two omnidirectional microphones in each ear, and with those two, we can automatically adjust the angle of least sensitivity, called the null angle, to block out unwanted noise that's behind you or to your side. However, to do this, the matching of the sensitivity of those two microphones is absolutely critical. Even fractions of a dB difference between the two and the whole thing can fall apart. The problem is that over time, one or both of these microphones can experience a change in sensitivity called drift. The most common reasons for this are things like moisture, uh, temperature changes, and environmental contamination like dust and wax. In other words, everyday life. You can't really avoid these things. What that does to a diaphragm in an electric microphone is it can degrade over time, or stretch and contract, and the backplate can uh, lose its charge over time. Either way, that's going to cause drift. MEMS microphones have some ways to get around this, however. Since the diaphragm is made out of silicon instead of polyester, it's much more resilient to things like temperature and moisture. Um, and since it has a special circuit to control the charge on the backplate, it stays at the optimal voltage at all times, regardless of conditions, and ultimately ensures that you get longer-lasting, good directional performance in the field. 